misses. Russell in the tailback spot. He might do it, and he does. Russell down the sideline. Trying to outrun the Michigan defenders all the way down to the 15-yard line. Unbelievable. On third and 10, Gary Russell almost took it to the barn. The Michigan defense didn't see Maroney in the backfield and forgot about Russell. And he has just stunned the Michigan crowd. 61-yard run by Gary Russell. Here it comes. Watch the offensive line. They all stay on their blocks. Ellerson gets a good one. Just stay with your man. Everybody just stayed with their men. Nobody pulling. Huge play. Gary Russell took the wind out of everybody here. As Gary Russell just took it 61 yards down to the 14-yard line on a third and 10. And with just a little over a minute left in the ball game, Jason Janini warming up his right leg on the sideline for a possible game-winning kick. People at home are probably asking, is he any good, Janini? He's, he's not bad. Glenn Mason has never beaten Michigan. Michigan has beaten Minnesota 16 straight times. They started playing for the Little Brown Jug back in 1903. And the last time Minnesota beat Michigan was 86. That's one of only two times since 1968. Did I give you enough streaks there? You get the message, I think. <laughs> yes. And I think the sideline of Minnesota has that same message in mind. It's going to be Jason Janini. And he'll trot out to try to win the football game for the Gophers, who've come close the last two years but have come away with losses. Remember, Rivas on the other side for Michigan had a couple of field goals that might have been the difference. Now it's up to the Minnesota kicker. And Cupido has come out to hold. Janini for the win. The kick on the way, and it's good. And Minnesota at Michigan, 23-20. to We're not quite sure if the game's over, but if it's not, there's only a second or two remaining. And it looks like for the first time since 86, that will be going to Minneapolis. Well, way back in 1903, Fielding Yost of Michigan sent student manager Tommy Roberts out, said, buy that jug. we got to get some decent water. I don't trust them up in Minnesota down there on the sideline and it looks like it's finally going back to Minnesota. Now what will happen is the captains of Minnesota will come across the field to get it. Here's the kick fielded by one of the up men. They're going to try a little razzle dazzle here. The ball is loose. Breston might get a shot at it. He picks it up and he fumbles it. Still going and now it's all over. Minnesota has won the jug and they are coming to the Michigan sideline. What a scene, and what a run by Gary Russell on third and 10. And Minnesota goes 75 yards in two minutes and 48 seconds. They kick a field goal to win, and boy, I don't know if there's anything in there right now, but it would taste pretty sweet to Glenn Mason if he took a swig. <laughs>